Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest Worlds of ZZT livestream. Happy ZZT Sunday to everyone. You know what Sunday means by now. It means we're going to be playing some more unpreserved games, and in this case it's the one we started two whole weeks ago, and then took a break last week for birthday stream. We're going to get back to it with Rescue, which has been an interesting action game, I would say. Uh, it's, it's very much the author figuring things out as they go along, having a lot of fun with it, and they're starting to get pretty ambitious. A little too ambitious. They're also starting to have problems. We ended the last stream, we, we took a detour into the, the level that the game makes you skip because the author couldn't get it working, and we got to see all the flag issues. And now we're going to kind of just go around that and continue on as if none of that had happened. Because I think I obliterated that save by mistake. But I believe I had one before I made that choice. I'm not 100% sure what save this is, other than it is where we need to be. Either it played the other level or it didn't. And uh, that's really all there is to it with this one. We're just going to start going and see how the back half of this game fares compared to the front. Still blinks. Rescue. Are we going to do some rescuing today? Level 6 complete. We're doing a great job. Uh, where's my... Rescue. Rescue, please. Thank you. What? It's been so long. What were we doing? I know there were robots. There's been a lot of robots, and we've been fighting robots and saving people from robots. But then that level that we got to skip was, like, a space level, and it seemed to have nothing to do with anything else, so who knows? Here... This looks rough. We get to fight a lot of tigers. Oh joy, happy Sunday. Oh, oh. That's interesting. We get to decide if we fight a lot of tigers. And is that yellow solid in the corner actually producing more? I think so. Actually, here's the real test. Do we get to decide? Because I will just skip this. Okay, it won't open. I, I suppose here is the... This is the spot to shoot from. Interesting. Okay, we can... I mean, I guess this flickering doesn't really matter, because the tigers can't shoot the gems, and they can't break... They can't do anything, so it's still on the player. I guess all it really does is slows us down when it comes to collecting them? Got this little stuttery rhythm. Uh, I'm just gonna check and see if all we have to do is defeat the Tiger Generator. Because that thing appears to have exploded into blood. Yeah. Well, the rest are all here anyway. The same rescue game, actually. So it's a hundred boards long. We got through, I think, like, ah, exactly half. Well, we're not going to see that message. Yeah, 49 out of 100. It's, it's definitely going to be one of those games as a victim of the author not knowing how to finish making a game, which is a skill unto itself. I've been enjoying it, though. Like, I, I think they have some creative ideas. They don't all work, but it's fun to see what they go for. There we go. Door opened. As, as far as these kind of games go, where the author is very clearly figuring things out as they go along, this is one of the better ones. But I take it all back. Why did I... Oh, okay, there's Energizers. It's not that bad. I can't... I'm trying to be nice to this game. It really needs to meet me in the middle. Well, we have some extra keys. I don't know why. But 
guess this will kind of let us break even. I'm just going to ignore that other blue one. Yeah, see, that worked. They figured out... Oh, look at that little surprise. Good trap. Yeah, they're figuring out some, some fun stuff. Welcome, then. You made it. Oh, okay, well, this time I don't get to decide where and when I fight all these tigers. I'm realizing I'm not a fan of, like, all the noise this board is making. Breaking breakables and failing duplicators. It is, it is definitely a joyful world. I mean, the, the, the level that got skipped was very much, uh, I discovered the ZZT Encyclopedia, and I'm gonna do as much as I can with it. I don't know why I'm touching this, this is literally the, the same thing as before. I'm curious if this is what the author intended for these bullets? I think I'm just destined to get shot, though, with how fast these are. Oh, well, no, maybe you can make that. Hmm, timer activated. You better hurry to press the blue button that will turn it off. Oh, that's what that meter is. Oh, don't miss. How much, how much wood over I got? I don't think I saved beforehand. Uh, I should just grab all these first. Oh, this is fine, yeah. You push the button and the timer self-destructs. Seems very if any time. I mean, this level so far, that seems to be the theme. Take that one, Jim. Okay, no, those aren't fakes. I was curious. Actually, I'm still curious. I'm gonna find out. What hat? Is it an instant game over if we had let the timer run out? <laughs> no, it's just more tigers. That would still be quite bad, though. Time for tigers. Okay, no, they he just really likes his still bullets. Again, I'm so close to getting through these unscathed. Uh, are we gonna get like a little maze? Looking at how these. This board has a bunch of weird exits and connections? No. And get a cool force field. Look around and see a patch of green grass and an artificial sky. Ah, oh, okay, that's right. The board titles aren't exactly the most exciting. I need a code to operate. You lose 20 health for that. We take this elevator. Elevator up. Stop. Hmm. I'm I'm worried about this top part. Oh, I can't shoot. Uh, then I'm gonna try this way. Even though I've now been trained to. Look at this and think it's a, a door for when all the enemies are destroyed. Activate blink walls. Better get something, because this isn't going to... Okay. Oh, okay. This is going to be a timing puzzle. No? Yes. Okay. Because it won't destroy the rays if you just destroy the walls like that. Although, no, there's room to go underneath. It would have been fine. Or no, it went end to end, so this part would have been blocked off, but... Yeah. 
a code. Secret code. I don't know if we really have, like, a goal currently. There's been a couple of times where it's been like, hey, save my brother, child, friend. But I think right now we're just kind of going forward because we can. Force field shut down. Now, he's been having fun springing traps. So surely... A metallic voice says, Missile Raid, go to the Northern Gunner's Station. So I guess we'll get to man the guns? Oh, yeah, okay. We'll get a little engine here. Okay, so shooting at Paul in any direction shoots north, which is fine. It's weird to not just have up do that. Oh, I hit you. How many hits? And we're also getting our ammo back, which is nice. So this is just a normal shooter engine with extra complicated player clone for no real reason, honestly. How many? How many hits? This is just one of these things. I really hope they're bound to each other and then both the rest of them all take one hit. Okay. Goodness. That seemed excessive. on a bit long. But at least you move quickly. What did I take? No, so I don't seem to have... I'm not losing health. Oh, unless my ship has, like, an invisible amount of hit points. Oh, out of curiosity, I tried shooting south. Again, it's nothing that, like... Just touching what I've been able to do. Oh, it's a bit tedious at this point. One more. No, no fanfare, just done. Not even telling me how to leave, I have to figure that out myself. He kind of took it for granted that he knew what that was all about. Okay, well, the missiles have been shot down, I guess. Um, I never like when boards do this. Where there is an exit to the left, and it's just like, well, I don't have room, and I need you to go left still. Where to fit everything. Uh, okay, now this is a... Now this is an interesting way to create a delay. I think that the author wants to make sure that the bullets have reached the center here. Actually, you having the brick blow them up is kind of a interesting way of doing it. Oh, I can't shoot. Okay. Uh, where's the keys? There's yellow. 
Is it just the yellow? Oh, once we- okay, yeah, hitting the stat limit kinda made this a bit easier. You need to space these bolts out a little bit more. I didn't see the purple. The green at least blended in with the ricochets. Yeah, then we hit our limit, and then it's pretty safe. Again, trying something. Kinda works, kinda doesn't. Good effort. Can't battle you now. I I can't battle you now because I'm st what This is very good. Cuz I'm stuck in an escape pod. I don't know who's talking to me. But they're currently busy. Whoa. Victory. Level 7 complete. Uh, where's the exit? Hmm. Looks like this is the end of the tunnel. Maybe you should go back and look for something you missed. Aw, oh, man. Okay, this is an interesting idea, too. That, that must have set, like, a flag, right? Eat it and goodbye. Ah. Well. Now the real question is how much work is involved in backtracking through these, because I mean this was still a just as dangerous as it was the first way through, really. <sighs> what else here? I'm, I'm looking at, like, that passage counter. Any board exits? I don't feel like there was a... Okay, I can go all the way back. Uh, let me do save here. Okay, no, I should have respected that, and I didn't. Okay, so this board, though, is harmless, so this makes me think that this is not the correct way to go. But the bullets were very harmful. I think this was the start. Yeah, this was where the level began. Huh? Oh, I, th I think I was supposed to go here. Yeah, there's an exit on this board. Oh, I'd better get out of here. He escapes through a hidden passage. Oh, I th that was a board edge. That's fun. This is a mess. What the hell is this? this is replenishing slime. It cannot get very far in this. Alright, let me figure out where I'm going before I start trying to dig through all this. I am trying to... Probably destroy the tigers, actually. Seeing as though there's nothing else here except a blocked off passage. I will destroy the tigers. What a... What makes some of them become solid walls, it seems? I feel like this pattern is still shifting. Yeah. Cool. This is... This is a mess. Myself just take a hundred damage. Okay. 
our eyes can get a little rest. I'm gonna give myself some health back. Hmm. This is fun. Some real ZZT warnings here. Due to a glitch in the game, if you don't wait a few seconds before proceeding after you enter the next room, you will become stuck. Also, if you save your game in the next room and reload it, you will miss a lot of fun. Okay, I think we're gonna get the illusion bug, maybe? Wait a few seconds. I'm, I'm really curious what's going to be in here. Yes, it is. It is the illusion. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is cool, actually. Oh my god, I've never... Why has nobody done this? I mean, obviously, AWEBS here did. This is smart. Um, well, okay. Okay, it has problems. It's not perfect. I think I, I think I see why I haven't seen anybody do this before. Okay, so these are gems, not tigers. That was a yellow key. This is still neat, though. As the idea of like, ah, you can do like a whole game like this, and probably not. Oh. So those are the bullets. Oh. Yeah, and this bug will get ruined if we load the save. We'll see the actual board properly. Well, that's not helpful. I'm assuming the ammo... Probably bullets. No? Oh, the little trail you get? Oh. I mean, I gotta give him credit for this board. This is actually really neat. Uh, well, other than that, that part less neat. Oh, did I save in the middle? Oh, now I have to do it without torches, though. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it with, like... No, I don't want to have 50 torches. When I only had one. We're just gonna ruin the illusion. Right, this game has... Anti-dark. Okay, then we are gonna have torches. Oh! Okay. Uh, bad. Down here. Uh, what's it? Yeah, this this part is all right. Hang on, I'm gonna. I'm gonna map this board out. I need to look at this. He did not stick the landing. Like weird dimension, hidden dimension. Two. Okay, so we go right up, left, up, left. I thought we went immediately up from the energizer. Left a few. Not that many. Really that far? Oh, I guess I can use the stat counter to kind of get an idea if I'm hitting bullets or walls. I 
again. Well, I'm, I'll take it. I mean, somebody did something with the illusion bug, and that alone is pretty rare. That was weird. I agree. You ain't wrong. Where are we? There we are. Alright, back to the classics. All those cracks in it. Some sort of breakable wall? Mm, not that breakable. What kind of supplies we got here? Guy 2. Hey, you are not allowed back here. Go to the other side of the counter. Well, uh, was I supposed to start here? Well, the alternative is that this takes like a thousand shots. But even that's just going to get me a key that I still won't be able to get to. Alright. Oh. Yeah, scene. Sorry, sorry. This wall cracks in it. Shot it a bunch. Doesn't do nothing. This guy says I don't belong on this side. Alright. Away from the editor, because I have to figure out how to do this. Store. Store. No, the player's positioned there, so they expected him to start there. Yeah, you bomb, you bomb the wall to shatter it. This one, that's just a wall. Sure, these aren't objects. Ah, something invisible. Oh, that's the counter. I thought this was the counter for some reason, the red one. Okay. That makes things easier. What would you like to buy? 100 health. 100 more health. Some torches, yeah. Okay, we definitely want a bomb. Probably gonna need all those keys. Okay, we shatter the wall. Okay, and then I think the other three were the red, green, and blue for that left tunnel. Red. Oh man, it's one of these games. What was that one that we played the one time where he actually ran the money you gave him into the safe and then ran to give you your item and it took like two minutes to buy something? That one was fun. This is gonna probably hurt. What is my plan here? Shoot south or run south? Neither sounds good. Yeah, this is just gonna break even. Oh no. Well, good news. This is a one way to make sure the player gets rid of all their money. I guess just going up in there again. Presumably some bullets are going to show up here. Big gem, worth 500 gems. You love to see it. Press button. What'd that do? I don't know what that did. Oh, purple key. Okay. health, please. Oh man, that is a lot. What a fiendish little hallway. This 
this too. to at least okay a robot appears he tried to break in activating self-destruct but no I've, I, I was making it very clear that I didn't want to rob this guy and then you went and tried to change the entire board into tigers uh, what is it we should do then Was this just supposed to be a stop? I'm realizing there's nothing else here but the passage I came in. Oh, I've been able to buy energizers, right. That would have been a lot cheaper than the health. Just on a whim. I made sure not to bomb the guy before, but... Alright, he can take it. Oh, please go somewhere else. Good. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Morning, major battle ahead. Hyperlink. That's why we can go shopping. Uh-oh. How major are we talking? Let's see. Actually, didn't we do this at, like, the start of the game? I feel like we've done this board. I was worried the master robot was going to get caught in the explosion. Hmm. Alright, we're victorious then. Ah. Uh oh. Hey, Webs, are you running out of ideas? Or did you just realize that this wasn't difficult, so you're making me do it four times? So that it just becomes more difficult. Why is this one not even... Okay. Oh, sorry, buddy. Probably only need to kill Master Robot here. Yeah, they, they want too many exclamation marks. Partici participation in this battle is honestly kind of limited. Still... Okay, we got the master robot. Well, the robot got the master robot. Okay, you do need to defeat every single one. Level 8 complete. Okay, brace yourselves, everybody. This is going to be quite the explosion. And one dud. 
Ah, okay, back to the basics. The off button, the force field shuts down. Tiger duplicators are another story. That's probably the red one. Ugh. See? This is what this game is supposed to be all about. Thank you for rescuing me. My father will be so happy. I'll follow you out of here because I have no idea how to get back to the entrance of this cave. That's right, I guess we were in a cave this whole time. Also, here is something that you might need. Oh good, it's all of them, it's not just the duplicators. Oh, you really gonna follow me, huh? Yeah, I can shove them out of the way. Is waiting for a destination. You tell it to transport you to the entrance of the cave. Oh, I guess we're done with the cave. Transport now or wait until later. Would we have. No, because he gave us the key. I wonder why this is an option. Because I don't think we can. Get... We can't get in here without having the kid with us. Oh, yeah, this is like the starting board. Thank you for rescuing me. I'll go by my father. Now, what? Hi, thanks again for rescuing me. Here's some stuff to thank you for your trouble. Thank you for rescuing my son. He turns to his son. He says to him, Don't ever go in that cave again. I don't want that robot to get you again. Here, throat. <laughs> he turns to you and asks, What is it? You say... How did you know that your son got caught by a robot? Um, uh, well, see you later. He runs out of the cave. I don't think that was my father. I wonder who would impersonate him. He turns to you. Did you find out what happened to him? Hmm, like son, like father. These fake dads. Typical dads are always trying to get their kids killed. I mean, my dad was always telling me not to go into caves lest they get captured by a robot. Uh-oh. Looks like I've been followed. I'd better take off this disguise. Ah, and start shooting. Blast the robot. Aha. You search the debris and find a card that says shoot torch seven times to enter. Oh man, I, I like the way all these things are hidden in plain sight. What torch though? Any? I hope. Six, seven. Come on, don't make me do this. It's making me do this. Ah, uh, our exits are... Okay, there's an exit to the right. I'm gonna actually jump to this one where there's a missing torch. No, I guess I'm not. What do you think you're doing? Are you sure you want to go through that again? No, I guess not, then. 
Uh, this could tunnel to the right. Okay. I, I deduced it. Sorry, what? I'm seeing a player clone surrounded by doors, which is something I considered doing for, like, an Octoberfest game. Okay. Ah, yeah, you can see the little flickering on the bottom. That's... He's, he's got something silencing the sounds and producing a blank message, so you don't constantly get assaulted with... You don't have a red key. A horrible noise every single step. Again, good Oktoberfest idea. Uh, okay, so I guess we go in these three passages to shut off the three force fields, talk to that dude, and then go in the other one. It's pretty neat to me that this actually did go back to the beginning and just be like, hey, guess what? There's a whole lot more to this cave. Glad I bought those torches. Hide out board one. Transporter mains. Oh man, okay, it's one where I need need keys. Oh, okay, I guess I am going this way. Full circle. Oops, no. Frames. Okay, here, there's the key, but where is the door? path has yet to be taken. Oh. Left is a circle. I'm just going to turn on the lights and die and see. Oh, you forgot to put your anti-chi on this board. Thank you. Oh, the door is on the other board. What am I saying? I'm going to just leave. Let's get that flag back so I don't die. Board where he remembers to put it. One. Uh, we are on a timer and there's probably invisible walls. Oh, good. See? He truly is learning as he goes. You didn't think there was another one, did you? How polite. The machine says, Timer challenge. Play to test your skill. If you win, you get a prize. If you lose, you lose the game. Let's go. I have a person to save. Or risk my hide for someone else? No way! Even though we did like 60 boards of that so far. Yeah. It's your whole life through this whole game, silly. Okay. You need to press the blue button to turn off the timer. Good luck. Uh, oh, yeah. Looks like I do need to destroy the tigers. Okay. This leads to the key. What is this? This is going to turn into something. I'm going to grab the key. Slime. I hope this kid went on to, like, make Doom levels. That's, that's really the vibe I'm getting from these kind of traps he's been putting in. Okay. In the next area, one of the three panels of each vertical wall is correct. Do not press the other two. Oh. Is it always 
for this one, because that's fine by me. Oh, I like... I did it. I like that it shot... They got rid of the bullets up there. Because I was actually getting kind of worried. Perfect. Then... That's two. So why did he surround the player clone with doors? What is the purpose of that? Oh, I think that's so you can't cheat for keys. Because then you'll have all of them, and then you'll move to the player clone by opening a door and be stuck. I, I, I really think it is just... It clearly doesn't like people cheating. But he doesn't know who he's he's dealing with. Oh, just plain old spinning guns, really? This seems really quaint compared to everything else, honestly. Like, look at that. Alright, we've got our three keys. Should be able to disable this. Shut down the machines. Okay, so I think this is the real dad. Why did the fake dad send me into the cave to begin with? Thank you for rescuing me. After you went after... Oh, okay. Because it was originally a real dad. After you went and rescued me... Or after you went after... After you went after my son, these bad guys came and captured me. Can you show me the way out of here? I hear the sound of a door closing. Oh no, we got we have to take the dad with us. Sorry, Dad, you're in for it now. I I really do. I have a special device, but it needs electricity. No, the game might glitch here, so save it. If it does, reload ZZT and restore your game. If it repeatedly glitches, try restarting your computer. This is a good scroll. Um, why would this break? What are we doing? We got a player clone again in the corner. Please find me a plug so I can set up my device. Please tell me... Why I should care? Oh. What? This wall has a power outlet on it, okay. This plug will be perfect for my device. Alright, Cyber Dad, what do you got? I'll set up my machine. You go on ahead. What are you doing? My device is ready to go. F for father. Start it up. Power supply is limited, so look at my device to see how much power it has left. This device will make you invisible. What? Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. He, he said invisible instead of invincible earlier in the game, too. He just doesn't know his words. Again, this is kind of a fun idea, yeah? The outlet is out of power, sorry. Uh-oh. The button, that worked. That was cute. Good job, Dad. 
It really helped out, actually. Don't see a lot of teamwork in ZZZ like this. Glad we were able to find a power outlet in the cave. Father says, good job defeating those enemies. Let's go to the next area. I'll be right behind you. I don't like the looks of this room. I'll um, stay here. How much more we got? Yeah. You've discovered my secret hideout, destroyed my robots, and ruined my plans. You'll pay for this. Master Robot, attack. Uh, what we got here? Okay, yeah, you're trying again. This this world is really neat because it's really trying all these weird esoteric ideas people had, just like player clones and bombs and energizers and things, and he's going for it. And we can really see when they do and do not work. Okay, yeah, like I don't know why it took so long for me to get some more bombs, but you hit the robot. I don't know when I get bombs, is the thing. Uh-oh, uh okay, yeah. It, yeah, and you can see, because of, like, this elaborate mechanism required... Oh, it even replaced the player clone, that's good, I didn't think to consider that. This is very slow, though. You know, can I, like, stun him if I shoot him? I haven't even tried. I just saw bombs, and... Okay. Bullets don't affect him. Is he gonna be in range? He's not gonna be in range. I am, though. Ugh. I mean, he needs to really get in range, though, is the thing at this point. Come on. this reach him? Nice. Okay. So, I now just get to sit here. Sorry. Okay, the robot explodes. There's only one more hit. Mm. Force field overloads from the explosion. How strong are you? I'm out of here. So I think we actually might be nearing the end. So it may end up just being a short one. I'll just live with that. You are pitiful. My secret weapon is complete. I am invincible. Maybe you can trap him with that device in the corner. Thanks, Dad. Oh, Dad, get out of the way. Dad. 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 Okay, whatever. Never listens. Use the upper control... Why did you... Why did you put a drawing engine into your presumably final boss fight? What? What are we doing here? Move, use the upper control panel to set the mode of drawing. Move the machine to draw a ring of fakes around him. Then use the lower panel to fill them in. If that wasn't clear, tough luck. Really going for it with this game. So... It's not that clear. I don't understand what buttons do what. Okay. On, but don't draw. Uh, okay, now it's moving. Okay, so... I guess we get to play kicks on and activate the drawing device. Nope. 
No, no, it's not moving. On, but don't draw. Uh, did it break? What's, what's going down here? Bill? Don't, Bill. I will restart my computer as, as suggested. Ah. On and activate. Okay, he's moving again. Still not drawing. Dark and goodbye. We're not using the place. On and activate the drawing distance. Okay. We do have to kind of go a little bit slow. Uh, Phil. Okay, I kind of get what they're going for now. I can't have this thing be so far down here, though. On, but don't draw. Okay. It doesn't... It was doing it before. It seems like you have to shut it off and then turn it on in a specific way. How are we detecting? I guess if we really surround him. So yeah, that should be pretty viable. Um, build the walls. Okay, so they're all solid now. Yeah, we should be good. He's... Not trapped yet, but he will be soon. I mean, hey, very unique boss fight. I've never done anything like this. And he managed to find a use for, like, these really weird drawing engines, which is just like, why are you not just drawing in the editor? Yeah. So we really do have to sur literally surround him. So now oh, I say off. On and activate the drawing device. No. Off. On, don't draw. On and activate. Okay, I think if we... I think it's just because it moves a little slowly. If I set a mode and I immediately start moving, it doesn't register that I changed modes. Uh, I'm just going to... Alright, yeah, no, this will work. Oh, well, okay. No, you may have defeated me, but I will have the last laugh. Computer, activate self-destruct. The code is alpha beta one zero. The room starts to heat up. You and the father run out of the room. I'll run on ahead. Ooh, we got an escape sequence? Oh, don't do this. Okay. Mostly I just want to minimize the flashing here. So, I guess open that door and... Sorry, why would I care about anything else on this board? If there's an exit down here? I don't know. I got caught by these pesky bad guys again. Quick, defeat them before the room does it for us. With us. In it. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The old boss ring. Okay. That's fun. Defeat them before the room does it for us. Oh. Okay. I guess everything in this room will die. I'm 
sorry, am I supposed to kill these before that timer reaches zero? I have to just do this if I'm gonna do that. Can't fight the tires, I just have to... Oh no, oh no. What? There's no exit! You forgot to put a board exit! Not like this! Hey, webs! Hey, webs! More like... Oh, hang on. We're not watching that board again in full scene. We're, yeah, we're 81 boards in, and I think this is the save where I didn't play that other level, which is going to be like another 10 boards. I think this is like the end. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, you poor child. You were so close. You had it. You had was it, like 97 boards you made, and then you forgot to link one. I can't believe it. That's so sad. Use this transporter, quick. You activate the transporter. Having a lot of fun with this escape sequence. Save your game, I will. 34. Uh, what do we do? We just run. Oh, uh, where am I going? Oh, that's live update. I was gonna say, I'm like, where's the actual timer? Um, okay, so I think I have to go right first to hit that one square at the end. Don't get trapped. I wonder if this kid played dogfight. That's got an escape sequence vaguely like this. I hate these transporters. You go press that button and come back. Talk to me when you're done. Oh yeah, he's supposed to be following us still, I guess. Push the button. The door opens. 57 seconds left. What's that other transporter? Is that just to fool you? Oh, I like the flashing portal for the exit. I can't believe it's ending like this. You see a porthole ahead. Okay. Yes, we made it! Son, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, Father. Father and his son turned to you. Thank you for saving us both. We owe everything to you. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Yes, thank you so much. Got 5,000 gems! I hope this covers the time you spent saving us. Probably won't, though, because you won't be able to spend it, because the game is over. I hope you enjoyed playing. I mean, I did. Thank you for playing. Created by... <laughs> Wait, you you forgot to put your name in. A special thanks to Game Guy Eight and whoever that is, and Dark Visions. There are many toolboxes that I used to make this game. I do not know the names of the people who made them. If you made one of these toolboxes, thank you so much. Sound effects, Alexis Jansen. Empties, Alexis Jansen. 
Embassy Games Color Center. Somebody in Embassy Games. Mystical Color Toolkit. Oh. Uh, I feel like I will know if I see it. Color Toolbox. That one's Spectrum? I also use Dark Visions, a super toolkit made by Dark Visions. I thank Game Guy because he got me interested in ZZT. Thank you, Game Guy. I hope you liked and enjoyed my game. On the title screen, enter the cheat. Plus fast. Press north to end the game. I wonder what that could be. No, you must enter the code and take a few steps forward for fast mode to activate. Like to end this game now? Sure. You go and take a few steps forward. Well, we gotta see that. Oh yeah, it starts you on the title screen. So okay. Does that just let you skip directly to the end? I want to make sure this is nice, fresh. I guess we'll find out. Also... So you can cheat on the title screen still, but a lot of people don't know how. Because it's not question mark on the title screen, it's the pipe character instead. Let's see. Fast. It was it was a ZZT experience, to be sure. Oh, I guess I was supposed to just enter it here. Welcome to fast mode. Please don't save and reload in it, because it will not work. Fast mode is only the beginning three and a half levels, so you don't need to save. For your convenience, I have put bypasses in to help you pass up impossible parts in fast mode. Just touch every wall in an area that seems impossible for fast mode, and there will probably be a shortcut, only in fast mode. Thanks. But... Oh! Oh. Yeah, don't cheat. I don't think this game is going to be playable at the... Yeah, it's it's just running the game in game over mode, which is absurdly fast. Uh, this is dated 2002. I... I don't know if... If you had, like, I don't know, a, a 386, if that would be, like, a playable fast mode but like it's pretty safe to say that in 2002 you were not playing ZZT on a 386 I mean, you might have also been but probably wasn't your, your primary computer okay, so I will rescue I just want to see for a minute or two what this is like, because I'm very confident that the answer is utterly impossible. Yeah, you can't read the text. I'm here to rescue a man. Yeah, like, this will not be playable. You can see how quickly he's moving. As soon as we hit enemies, this is going to stop being viable. Look for the fake wall and receive the key. I can't believe I, I timed my shooting there correctly. Okay, so we'll get we get here. And and now what? Forty sixty. Let's see how much health I have at the end of this. 
Okay, well... I just lost 2,000 health crossing that hallway. Can I finish this board? This skill level isn't even remotely fair. We are playing on nightmare mode. We got fast monsters and everything. I forgot to get that... No, I didn't forget to get that key. I'm supposed to go back, so... Ah, <laughs> I almost made it. Again, yeah, fun idea, but no, you can't do this. What's, what was the date on this one, though? 2002? Uh, so when is inedible vomit? What? Let's do what I've been trying to get into the habit of doing. I finally set up a stupid scene here. Does this look correct? No. Almost. You picked the wrong one. I think I have to load this scene before I start the stream. Well, we can still do this. That's going to be give or take. Alright, we are looking for inedible moments. Okay. Because Inedible Vomit is a game that does play in fast mode, as, as he's calling it. And it predates it by a number of years. I wasn't sure what the timing was on that. So, well... I mean, you meant well. It's very weird, though. Because, like... You have a game speed here, like... You can just make the game go faster and still be playable in general. As long as it's not on the maximum. Is this still actually... It was indeed a very gimmicky game, but it was fun. It was fun for all the gimmicks it was trying. Like, let's see what that's... I'm just gonna... We don't need to... Like, part three, maybe? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, like, this is... Honestly, still not great. And we're supposed to have, like, 4,000 health, actually, but... But yeah, as you can see... We got hit twice instead of a hundred times. Well, I mean, sometimes you want to do custom cheat codes. Alright, well, that's gonna, gonna do it then. I think we're just gonna stop here. I don't really have anything else pulled. Let me do that. So yeah, I, I think that was a neat game, honestly. That was a lot of fun overall. It had some issues, to be sure. But I gotta say, with a hundred boards, I think it was good overall. Just sometimes a little messy. This is definitely an instance where I would I would love to see if what else this author would have made, but I think this is the only the only thing credited to them. Yeah, straight up, this is their only game that we know of. Alright, well. Meant well. Good game. Fun times. Uh, that is going to do it then for today. Uh, we will be back again tomorrow. We're going to be starting a, a new Monday game. We're going to be going through a couple for October. Starting first with Parsnip. The first in a series of... I guess, what's the best way to describe them? I guess like... Queer, furry, horror... Well, the first one's not a visual novel, but the others are. But that's going to be fun, trust me. It's a very good series. I don't really know how to describe it otherwise. One of those cutesy games that's got horror undertones, at least in the first one. It's fun. It'll be fun. If you're interested in that, that'll be tomorrow at 6 Pacific. And then Friday... Uh, oh, yeah, again, it's been... So long since I did a poll. I must do a poll. There will be a poll. We will vote on a game. 
we will choose something for Friday at 6, and then Sunday we'll find some new Unpreserved Worlds to check out, and hopefully we can get something even half as good as this. Rescue was, a, I think, a surprise hit. Really ambitious. I feel like a young me would have would have gotten along with this kid, because I know my early ZZ games were also like, what if I had custom cheat codes? I, I, I'm sure I definitely would have thought that fast mode was the coolest thing, even if it's unplayable. But again, thank you all for watching, and thank you for your support. If you enjoy the stream, give a follow or subscription if you can, that's always super appreciated. Also on Patreon, and supporting there gets you access to early articles on the museum, which is always nice. And uh, I think that'll do it. I want to see who else is streaming right now, and pass things over to them. But one last time, thanks for watching, hope you had fun, and hope to see you all next time. Later. <laughs>